Hello and welcome to another movie review. It feels like it's been ages since I've done a movie review, but um, it kind of has been like a few weeks. Um, I'm ready for this um, exciting year of film with lots of great blockbusters um, being released. But let's talk about a movie that I saw um, on um, what is Saturday. Um, so, um, and that movie is The 355, starring, it's got a great cast, Diane Kruger, Penelope Cruz, Jessica Chastain, um, Sebastian Stan, and some other great actors. I was really looking forward to this movie. It's one of my most anticipated, well, it was one of my most anticipated movies of this year. Um, it, was, it was meant to come out last year, um, but... Covid got in the way and it's was moved to this year, and it's finally it it was released on Friday the seventh of January, and um, yeah, it was a bit disappointing, but it wasn't awful. All the critics have said it's a terrible film, and personally, I don't think it is a terrible film. I just think that it's disappointing. Uh, I feel like this didn't need such a big delay. It could have been brought out during covid onto streaming it didn't feel yes it's an action movie but it didn't feel like a big screen movie i could have easily watched it on netflix um and that is one of my biggest problems with the movie i was expecting the action sequences to be really big and spectacular and i was really disappointed um from the trailer it made this film look like the action sequences were going to be incredible and they they just weren't. This is definitely a film to watch at home. I wouldn't bother making a trip to the cinema to see it. I went because I am a member of my local cinema. So it. I feel like this film should have just been, been... They should have made some sort of deal with, like, Netflix or Prime and just released it on there. But they didn't. They decided to release it in cinemas. The movie's kind of about all these different agents. They're all from different parts of the world. Um, they they all have different backgrounds, and um, they all kind of want the same thing. There's this device going round, um, and there's things on the device that I'm not going to mention because it's spoiler. Um, basically, this device could potentially start World War Three. So, um, they all want to stop it, but they all start off going after this device. Um, on their own and about 20 minutes into the movie they realise they want the same thing and they all team up and go after this device together and they all start to become really close and at the end of the film they become this group called the 355 and that's where the name comes from that's not a spoiler because it's all in the trailer um, now so the pacing for this film is weird it starts off really boring like it just starts so boring uh, just minute started I thought I'm not gonna like this just over two hours the film and really um it's not very well paced I don't actually don't because obviously it gets really it's quite a slow start then they all team up there's a couple of action sequences um them going after um and then you know you see them going after this device and then it slows down again like uh, because it really was taking its time and then all of a sudden it would just kick off. That that happened towards the end of the movie. It's like the the writers rushed the ending and thought, you know, we'll just do this at the end. There you go. We have a film and filmed it, edited it, released it in cinemas, and that's what the result is. They didn't. I don't think they put a lot of thought into it. it just even though it was delayed, it still was felt a little bit rushed. Um, the good things about this movie is is as I said. They're not, it's not their best performance, but I've, but most people in the cast did really well, apart from Sebastian Stan, who I just did not like his character. I didn't think he was very good at carrying that role um, in the mo throughout the movie. Yeah, but that's my review for The 355. If you are going to watch it, I'd wait till you can rent it. I mean, it'll be on streaming soon because it's not doing very well in the box office at the moment. But yeah, it's 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 not awful, but it's not great. I think the action sequences were disappointing. The cast was pretty good, and the story was average, really. Thank you so much for watching this review. I look forward to filming some more this week. I've got a couple more reviews to film.
And then I've got a couple of cinema trips coming up over the next few days. Um, we've got Belfast coming out and um, all sorts of great films. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you then. Goodbye.